Now for a response from the Democratic side of the aisle, let's bring in Congressman Ro Khanna, who is a member of the House Oversight Committee. He joins us from Mountain View, California. Congressman, first, your, your take on the top line conclusions from the Attorney General's letter. Well, Brett, I agree with Kevin McCarthy. We need to put the country first. But the biggest thing is to look at Mueller's conclusion that the Russians interfered in our election. He said that the Russian defense agency hacked into the Democratic Party. He said that the Russians manipulated social media. Whether you're Republican or Democrat, we should come together to make sure that kind of interference doesn't happen and make sure we're strengthening our intelligence platforms and our Internet platforms to prevent this from ever happening again. So do you agree with Leader McCarthy that he says, whether you're a Republican or de Democrat, that it's a good thing for America that special counsel Mueller did not find anybody in the Trump campaign or tied to the Trump campaign who colluded or cooperated or conspired with Russia? Well, I need to read the whole report, uh, but I have tremendous confidence in uh, uh, the Mueller investigation. And my sense is that there was definitely a finding that the Russians intervened. I mean, you can say that no one in the Trump campaign coordinated or conspired. And if that was his conclusion, I take him uh, at face value. But what we can't ignore is that there was an interference in our election. There was a reason the Russians wanted the Trump campaign to win. And wholly a part of whether Trump conspired is a question of what we're going to do to make sure that never happens again. Okay, I want you to listen to your colleague, uh, Congressman Jeffries, Hakeem Jeffries, on uh, Face the Nation. The American people deserve to know whether Donald Trump is either A, a legitimate president, B, a Russian asset, C, the functional equivalent of an organized crime boss, or D, just a useful idiot who happens to have been victimized by the greatest collection of coincidences in the history of the republic. So, Congressman, can you say it's A, that he's a legitimate president? Well, he was elected by the American people, and uh, uh, he is the president. And I think what we ought to be focused on is what we can do for the American people. Let's pass an infrastructure bill. Let's deal with prescription drugs. Let's make sure America wins the green energy race. You know, China is out there making all these investments. What are we doing for the country? That's why I was elected to Congress, and that's what I hope we can focus on these next two years. I guess what I'm getting at, Congressman, is do you agree that some people on your side of the aisle went over their skis in some of the characterizations that the president was a puppet of Vladimir Putin, considering what the special counsel has found today? Well, Brett, all I can do is speak for myself. I always said that I had confidence in Bob Mueller. We should wait for the Mueller report, and we should look for the Mueller report uh, and not make uh, conclusions before the Mueller report. Uh, and that's uh, what we should do as responsible members of Congress. Uh, so I can't speak for other people's characterizations, but uh, I do think that there is an opportunity to come together around the election interference, and we should salute Bob Mueller for his extraordinary work there. I mean, he indicted 12 people 12 Russian agents. Any American should be concerned about Russians' interference in our election, in the UK, uh, and around the world. Last thing, uh, there are calls for the entire report to be released on Capitol Hill. Um, there are obviously parts of that report that deal with grand juries, uh, grand jury interviews uh, that, that legal experts say should not be put out there, and obviously classified information. How do you see this ending up, wrapping up? Well, even Leader McCarthy voted uh, to have the full report become public. It was a 420 to zero vote. Obviously, you can't disclose classified information. No one is calling for that. You can't uh, disclose information before a grand jury. But other than that, the entire report should be made public. And uh, I think that will help the country uh, assess the facts for themselves. Congressman Ro Khanna from uh, California. Congressman, we appreciate your time. Thanks, Brett.